so it's just you know it has that there's like some sun it almost looks it looks like a horror film almost <laughs> like in that you know there's parts of the sky that are like really blue and you can see the sun peering through and then there are other parts of the sky that are really gray so you can sort of start to tell that there's a storm coming and then at the same time there's not as there's not just not as much traffic there's just not as much you know like life happening daily life happening oh, I'm like I feel nervous I guess I guess it's better to, it as they say it's better to prepare for the worst than to not is that what they say is that like the saying Erica I don't think so Anyway, um, so I would rather prepare and expect worse and have it not be as terrible than vice versa, for sure. And I feel relatively prepared. I guess now the only thing that's scary is like not knowing like, what's going to happen, really, you know? Um, I feel pretty confident in feel pretty confident in my building <laughs> um, I don't feel like I need to go to a shelter knock on wood those are not like famous last words but I looked around this morning and there were still a lot of cars in the parking lot so it didn't look I know it's still early but it didn't really look like you know and Orlando didn't get an evacuation notice I know last night today Palm Beach did but Orlando hasn't hasn't been told to evacuate. They've opened up a lot of shelters. Oh, so I think I think we'll I think you know it's gonna be bad, but I think we can stay. I don't know where I don't know where I would go if we couldn't stay. I mean I did write down some shelters that accept animals like you and your animal because obviously you know I would never leave Elsie behind. This is one of those situations, though, for sure, where I think to myself, like, oh, I just want to put her in the car and we can just drive back to New York, <laughs> which is kind of comical a little bit because the storm is, like, going up anyway. Um, I also read something super scary today, which, like, uh, knock on wood, does not happen, but someone was like, what if the storm goes up, if it go hits Florida, goes north, then jets west I think they said or jets east and then curves around and hits Florida again I was like in that case in that case then we're, we'd probably go I don't know where but I'd find a nice hotel some, but somewhere in like maybe Georgia or what's the state next to us is it Alabama I'm like so bad with geography I, I don't know if I said this yesterday but I mean worse comes to worse we have um, we have a bathroom inside, so it's in, like an inside. I don't know what they call those. Um, it doesn't have any windows, and so worst comes to worst, I'll see. <laughs> we can all just like bunker into the bathroom, and I'll take like the um, I can take the cushions off the couch and just like make a little floor bed, and you know we'll be fine. So I'll check back in in a little in a little bit. I mean, obviously, hi, I'm going to work. <laughs> this morning is, is looks fine. I don't think it's supposed to start raining until this afternoon. And then I don't think the hurricane, because the hurricane is just making landfall, I think, in the Bahamas now. So I think it won't hit us until late tonight, tomorrow. But yeah, okay, I'll check back in in a bit. Ooh, I look like a hot mess. Oh, there's hair in my eye. So... Uh, you would think, you would think it's the apocalypse, um, but I get it. I get it. I get it. 
all the gas stations have run out of gas. I'm looking at two gas stations that are closed and then the one by my work was closed. Luckily I got gas yesterday and I think I should be okay. Can I fit in this little space? Let's see. Um, I should be okay. <sighs> it's scary. And then I went into CVS. I mean, every store is packed. Every single store is packed. All the water is gone everywhere. I'm kind of kicking myself for not buying more gallons of water yesterday when the, when the shelves were like fully stocked. But I went in today, there was no more gallons of water, but there were like, you know, some water bottles. So I picked up a few extra water bottles and I picked up some other like beverages that don't necessarily need to be refrigerated right, right away, like coconut water and some like juice. And then I picked up some more snack foods um, and some things that I can eat if the power goes out. Um, they're saying that Hurricane Matthew is strengthening as he approaches Florida and not weakening despite having like gone over Haiti and Cuba and like I apparently like when hurricanes hit land and mountains and stuff that should weaken them but it's sort of done the opposite. And it's just, it's crazy here. I mean the roads are packed. Everyone's out. Everyone's trying to get like their materials and yeah I mean I feel like I'm kind of, I've, I've, at this point I've done everything I can do. I'm going to go home now and just take in everything from outside. And I mean, that's all I can do really. And I think, I think if we can just get through the next 24 hours, we'll be okay. And here's the thing. I was thinking like, oh, we'll be so good. Our power lines are underground. It's not a problem. We'll be fine. We won't lose power. Without really even realizing until someone said it today that if the place where the power like originates, if the the plant if the power plant loses power or is affected then obviously we lose power and if the cell towers are affected obviously we lose service like I don't know why none of that like hit my brain um so I think that's when I started feeling a little bit nervous because I think up until this point I was like oh we'll be fine like our our power lines are underground no big deal but now I'm sort like kind of getting it oh my god there's so much traffic oh um yeah anyway oh i think because right now i'm going west and this is the evacuation one one of a few evacu evacuation routes and if you go west you'll be further away from the storm the storm's really going to slam the east coast of florida so i think that's where everyone's going now <laughs> everyone's going west um, yeah. Oh, I think, are they vlogging? Are they vlogging in there? I should be like, hey, I'm vlogging too. No, they're not vlogging. <laughs> That's hilarious. Nope, they're just doing, they're just doing directions. Um, okay. Mm. All right. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm, I'm just going to go home and do all of those things and kind of barricade myself inside my apartment. I will... I mean, obviously I'm not leaving tomorrow. I'm staying home all day tomorrow, so I will vlog at home. Um, yeah, I, I mean, keep everyone in your thoughts and prayers. Keep Haiti and Cuba and Jamaica and ba the Bahamas, like at all of the Caribbean islands, keep them in your prayers because the devastation in Haiti has been horrible, insane, and just awful. And we're so blessed to live in a first world country where, you know, we can go to Target, we can go to CVS, we can go to Whole Foods, and there will be food there, and those places exist. And, you know, at the very least, there's bottles of water, and, you know, it might not be convenient for us to buy a bottle of water instead of a gallon of water, but at least it's there. And for a lot of those people, in Haiti they're so impoverished and so poor that 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 that's wasn't even an option before the hurricane and now it's just total devastation so keep them in your prayers and then keep Florida in your prayers keep I mean keep everyone here um, just in your thoughts there are a lot of people who live here who uh, may not have 
great shelter and may not feel really confident in their building um, and in their infrastructure and pray for the little animals um, not just like the stray cats and dogs but there's a lot of livestock out here and a lot of cattle and I don't I don't know what they do with the cattle um, out here and if it's you know if they put them somewhere and if they're safe so yeah um, it looks like it's gonna be a serious situation for us so I appreciate all of your thoughts and um, all of your well wishes I really do um, I will update you tomorrow if anything crazy happens tonight obviously I'll just I'll I'll sneak in a little clip um, from home if not you will um, I'll check back in tomorrow from my apartment and then Saturday we're not kind of we're not sure um, what the situation will be like what the like the destruction will be um, so I'll update you on Saturday on, on sort of what's going on um, okay that's it I uh, I'll talk to you guys soon I love you all thank you so much for subscribing and up soon.